I'm going to get a uh, feather because I need it. Corey, I've never seen, I've never heard you sound so pissed off until you played this game. It's not true. This is like a like a darker side of Corey. Does that make sense? <laughs> like his like his demon side or something. I'm not do -do 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 mad at all. I'm just angry. Guys, Corey showing his fangs. I got a bad feeling. Did you ever have that moment when you were younger where you're like, "Am I gay?" And then you try it. Yeah, I, I tried sticking stuff in my ass. I didn't like it. <laughs> I, it didn't work out. I didn't. I didn't mean like that. I smelled like watching I tried a, a bananas gay video. in like CD cases. It didn't work. <laughs> I tried sticking CD cases in your ass. Yeah, the ones with the rods that you put CDs on. <laughs> I used the trash bag as a condom. I think I said this. In... <laughs> you know. <laughs> Remember that episode <laughs> of Breaking <laughs> Bad? <laughs> I'm the one who is Breaking Bad. <laughs> I don't remember that. You are the one who is Skyler. You look at the annoying orgy, you Wait, think I that of me? I, I've never seen Breaking Bad, you're giving me false <laughs> narratives. You watch the annoying orange. I hate the annoying Ted. orange. I watch the annoying orange I remember when Ted. you guys went in to pitch it. You guys <laughs> went so in to- <laughs> fucking dumb. You guys went That's, that's the dumbest thing! Shut up, Maybe, son. maybe uh, Breaking Bad crossed over with the annoying orange. What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> My game's not loading. My game refuses to load. Oh, My game loaded a little bit and then stopped. <sighs> My game is uh, just fi filled the loading bar. Oh, it's I'm hard. grinning ear to ear to hear that, Tomar. I'm so happy. Oh, oh, the three of the three of us are just so happy just, to hear just, you doing well. Oh, Tomar, me too, darling. <laughs> Knowing that you're having uh, fun is just as good as having fun myself. I mean, it's oh, still from the loading screen. I'm just. I'm, no, I'm just Toma, you're doing so well, darling. I'm so glad you to see you after your bastard, darling. I love it. <laughs> after you, after after your big breakdown, after your big failures, it's good to see you finally doing well. <laughs> this is some downs. <laughs> mostly downs. <laughs> mostly downs. Let's not kill ourselves. Down, I'm down, sick down. of hanging around all you passive aggressive Hollywood elites. <laughs> Uh, we're not passive I'm, aggressive. I'm leaving we're LA just... tomorrow. It's decided. Darling, passive aggressive. No, we're just so happy and for don't you. Don't you love the vampire, the vocabulary of a, of a non Hollywood elite such as a Tomo? <laughs> <laughs> it is quaint. It's quaint. No, it's 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 humbling. It really keeps you connected to you know the the flyover it's states. It's regular people. Were. Tomo, you live in a fucking bubble high up on a hill. You fucking piece of Tomo, shit. Tomo, you are a fucking <laughs> hillbilly. You are a hillbilly. I am a god. Do you all live in a penthouse? You are a fucking hillbilly. You live on a farm. That's the opposite of what I was eggs. saying. <laughs> That's the exact opposite. <laughs> Tomar, have you ever seen the video of the guys driving down the long dusty road and a brick falls out of a truck and kills the wife in the seat? That's the mother. That's horrible. Yeah, that's real. But what would you do if that happened and it hit Jaxie in the oh head? Oh my god, But, but it didn't kill her, it just like, oh made god. her look like a hammerhead shark. Holy I'd fuck. I'd be really upset. Uh, I, I think I- I think I would- I would make a point to get that person's plates and file- file a, a lawsuit. You get his plates? Yeah, I get the fuck you get his plates? Still or what'd you do if you, uh, if you, if Jaxie went on a long trip, she, or, you, you know, did a long trip and you, she came back and you hadn't seen her in so long and she looked so beautiful to you that your jaw fell like a cartoon, but it, like, it stayed there and you now had to, like, you had to go to the hospital and get surgery. Get my, get my jaw re, resized yeah, to fit yeah. my face. That, do, you, do you think that would make you feel crazy if nobody, under, if, like, nobody believed you on how your jaw got like that? Yeah, that would be really frustrating. <laughs> you would, oh, your eyes puffed out, your jaw I, fell down. Having to, and then it stayed like that, and you had to, like, get I feel surgery. embarrassed trying to explain to people how that happened. <laughs> yeah, I just I saw my wife, she's You'd beautiful. You'd have big my, stitches on your jaw, jaw for the rest no, of your life. No, <laughs> but, like, wouldn't that be such an annoying story? And my jaw literally dropped. No, seriously, literally. It dropped. Okay, yeah, like, okay. That is what, such what an really annoying happened? story. Yeah, what really happened? I no, wouldn't, no. I wouldn't even <laughs> tell it to anybody. You say you got a car accident or something. <laughs> <laughs> or somebody, like, beat you at a bar or something. The exhibition should be easy enough to locate. But Tomer, you're an exhibitionist, right? I don't know if I'd go that far. <laughs> With friend, Earth, the Honest question. Uh. 
Yeah. Like, let's talk. Yeah. Let's talk fat. Let's like let's forget that let's we're. Let's talk fat. Let's, let's talk like, fat. Come on. Let's, come for, on, let's forget that we're like trying to watch our diet. Let's pretend like we're getting happy let's meals. Let's pretend every we're giant glob glob glob. you have got you got two happy meals today. Let me tell a story. Fucking, I go to McDonald's to get a McChicken because it's like a nice quick snack and you don't have to do these two hundred calories. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is already. It's a healthy. Hey. It's a healthy. It's basically an apple. A McChicken. It's basically a banana. No, it's basically. I mean, but anyway, Corey keeps making me fucking ask for Happy <laughs> Meals because he wants to get the it's Sonic true. toys it's that come true. with it. And oh, today, I, today, I, today I, wait, 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 but wait a minute. You so you got two Happy Meals to get a Sonic toy. What were you? I was gonna ask. Uh, were the no, Sonic got three Happy two? Meals to get a Sonic. And what, guess what? Wait, 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 wait. Were the Sonic toys? Are they cool or is no, it like? No, or is, they're not cool. They're it's epic. ugly. <laughs> it's ugly, broken china plastic painted to look like Sonic. And Corey was like, it's like Alibaba, like one set stuff. They're so epic. Okay. It's so Yesterday, epic. Corey got fucking <laughs> tails. Today, he got the robot. Oh, and then at the, at the second McDonald's today, he was like... Wait, you guys are like hitting up different McDonald's? Yes. To yes. That, today, guys, at the guys, second McDonald's. That's no, bad. I know. That's bad. At the second McDonald's, he's like, uh, I want to ask for, for fucking wait, Sonic wait, 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 or Knuckles, wait, wait. but I'm too much of a pussy to do it. Chris, so wait, you, you guys, you guys are Chris, both, you guys are both born the same year, right? You guys are both 1990? Yes, I'm 31. You guys, you guys, you guys were both alive when the U.S. USSR was still a country, yes. and you're getting and you're getting I don't Sonic. Even know what the Sonic USSR is, I'm doing but it yes. to help my friend. I don't care. Oh, you're a good Samaritan. <laughs> you're helping out your friend with leprosy. Chris. You're giving. You're, you're bringing water to his <laughs> lip and putting hot hot he compresses can't do on his boils. Man. He gave me those Chinese toys, and I fucking. You're basically for it. a guy that like helps his buddy in Vietnam who's got his legs blown up. Well, guess what, Zach? Yeah. He didn't even have yeah. the toys Corey wanted. He had I to keep settle getting for the this stupid fucking robot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let me tell you something about McDonald's. I fucking love it. It's horrible. I always feel like shit when I well, eat McDonald's it. Well, McDonald's is McDonald's, so you know, you know, what you're getting. Sometimes exactly. if you've been if you've been a good little boy and you've been eating all, you've I been get hitting their all your, ice cream cones eating, almost daily. They're really good. They can't be good. You're Chris. <laughs> I don't care. Chris, your liver must you be good. You will not tell me what I can and can't look at. Hey, let me tell you a story. So I'm a century in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans, it's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door, and it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out, like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock-knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who is there? So, naturally, I respond, dishes. Dishes who? This is a very bad joke. <laughs> then she just howls with laughter. Like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. Then I did again, and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. I think the person on the other side of the door is Toriel, but... Huh. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If the human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name, but... Someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy? You'd be dead where you stand. <laughs> Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. 
You haven't died a single time. That's right, isn't it? Well, chalk it up to my great skills. <laughs> that hit me in the feels. Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Because someone really cares about you. So he's definitely talking about the goat. 